So yeah, so for our first example of a relation, I'm going to use this example. So one, two. Okay, so um, yeah, like I was saying before, um, this is uh, what a relation looks like. This is the um, structure or um, collection of pairs, which are a, a relationship between elements. So um, in our set A, we would have um, you know, one, two, three, and four. Those would all belong as individual elements within a set. And our relation here is the is um, on this set A, we'll call it, that has all these relationships between all these elements, and these are the pairs that we have here. Um, so our goal is to determine whether or not this particular relation we can call transitive, once again keeping in mind this definition that we were discussing earlier. So, like I said with the first column, um, again it might seem a little redundant, but um, it will become necessary. So, as well, it might seem confusing, but um, that will also... Um, it will become less confusing as we go on. So, like I said, every single one of these pairs has to be in the AB column. So, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, Making sure I have everyone. One, two, two, four, one, and four, four. Okay. So, I guess I should explain, and um, you know, it'll, it'll make more sense as I go along why every single one of these has to be an AB. Because you might say, hey, well, you know, um, we could say that one is element A and two is element B. So why wouldn't this be AB? Or why wouldn't the first pair in the relation be AB. Well, like I said, um, and you know, this is why I wanted to underline the word whenever, um, the idea is, when you're, when you're thinking about it logically or mathematically, um, is that, so whenever any given pair AB, so what that means is that any single one of these is a given pair AB, and that is why they're all going to be in our columns, because they're all going to be considered as ABs. Um, and as we go into our next column, which we are just about to do, um, we're going to have the BC column. So, um, because that is dependent on AB, meaning that, so now our, our B, which is the second element of each one of these pairs, um, you know, because this is now going to be the first element of the, the second pair, BC, um, each one of these ABs is going to have its own um, set of BCs, um, and th this will make this will make sense once I write it down right now, just to um, just so you can see it visually. So, just also so you know, um, I'm going to be have be having three columns, and um, when you guys do this on your own, it's totally fine to do to immediately uh, write down the AB and BC columns, or at least these, these headers, as I have here, um, because the AB column is only going to be um, one pair wide, because, um, like I said, every single uh, pair is its, is its own AB. Um, but you're, you don't necessarily know, you might not, might not be able to keep track off the top of your head immediately, how many BCs are going to belong to any given AB. Um, so for that reason, you're not going to be totally sure how wide the widest uh, BC row is in your column here. So for that reason, I think it's good practice just to um, 
leave this open ended here and then you know let's say like the widest one goes all the way out to here as opposed to assuming that it would only go out to here and then you make your AC column here and then you would get confused so um, like I said if you want to go right ahead and do the first two columns just like this to start off um, and then you know list your AB's that's totally fine um, but uh, that was just a pointer so now we're going to get into the BC so like I said so what BC means is now uh, every all of these second elements we have to ask ourselves which which ones are that also once again because this is our entire set as well or you can look horizontally here um, whichever you would like you have to ask yourself which ones are now the first element of this second pair so so here RB in this case for this first column is 1 so we have to say to ourselves what other ones start with 1 and as we can see here there's only other one other one so for this case you know we looked out as far as that width goes and for all we know the rest of these might only be one width um, but we're gonna go we're gonna analyze it, we're gonna go all the way down um, but yeah so for this case there is only one which is one two so now for this one this one is two and as we look down we can see that there are two uh, there are two BC's for this AB so we're going to write this down as <clears throat> two, two one two two right okay good so that is the second column so once again with this third one one is our um, I'm, I'm sorry I just I realized I made a mistake um, so it, it might seem redundant but for the purposes of the math it is important to recognize that um, even though this is already our AB um, it is always it is also going to count as our um, BC um, and, and this will um, this will be clarified at the once we get to the AC column. But um, this I'm just going to put that there because it, that is also important to um, recognize that even though it sounds redundant, it, it still is the case that you know this first um, when you think about all the other um, uh, pairs in the relation, um, this does still start with the the second element with the B um, in this first pair so it will also count as its own um, BC uh, as confusing as I may or may not sound um, but like I said once we get to the AC column and we finally wrap up this relation we will see that um, it'll make a lot more sense so just like the case with this first one the first the the, the one that becomes the first member of our BC pair is 1 so we have to look for the ones and there are there are two just like we saw before <clears throat> okay so and then once again we have a 2 and so as we know there are two that belong as the BC in this relation Okay, so now we come to our first four. As we see, we have two fours that are the first pair in the rest of the relation. So we have four one and four four. Once again, we have one 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 two and four four. <clears throat> okay, great. So, as we see here, um, our BC column is in particular wide, particularly wide. Um, so maybe if you wanted to ballpark it or guess, and you know, put your AC over here to start off with, um, you could get away with it. But like I say, I think it's good practice to just analyze it, go all the way through, make sure you're totally correct. Um, and then you can finally do your AC column. So, just to review before we get to the final column, the reason that I've broke, broken this up um, into three different columns is that we have the three pairs to consider. We have the AB, we have our BC, and so in line with the transitive logic or, or definition, 
provided that we have our ABs and our BC, now we're going to look for for when, once again, keyword whenever, whenever AB and BC both belong to the relation R, then by definition for it to be transitive there has to be an AC pair, which is the first member of the first set and the second member of the second set. So you can think of it as comparing the outer. If you were to, if you were to compare, if you were to have the two um, the two sets that we know belong to the relation right next to each other. I, the way I like to think of it is you have the two, you have these two outer A and C, you have these two um, to consider for AC. And so by definition, if AC belongs to the relation as well, if you can find it somewhere in here, if you want to look down here, if you can find it somewhere in the relation, then the, we know that the relation is in fact transitive. So we're going to move on to our third column. So, <clears throat> so let's ask ourselves. So we have an AB and we have this BC. And so let's compare. Sorry. <clears throat> so we have now that we have you know this AB and this BC and let's compare the outer ones. One two. So, is 1, 2 in the relation? And in fact it is. So it be 1, 2. Now, and this is and this is what I said about it being redundant, but mathematically it's still important to consider. Um, this is our AB, and this is our BC, and we compare the outer ones, and we have a 1, 1. Now, obviously, 1, 1 is in the relation. So, So, with every column, I like to put a check mark if it works out like that, like we have AB, for all our ABs and BC, we have corresponding ACs. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, now I move on to 1, 2. So, just as we did before, we have an AB, a BC, and our outer ones are 1, 1. And as we saw in our first AB, 1, 1 does indeed belong to the relation. So, so far so good. So let's look at the next one. So we have 1, 2 and 2, 2. The other ones are 1, 2. 1, 2 doesn't, does indeed belong in the relation. So that's good. <clears throat> okay, so for our third one, we have 2, 1. We have 1, 1. The other ones are 2, 1. Now does 2, 1, two, one doesn't he belong in the relation? Okay, so now we have our outer ones for 2, 1 and 1, 2 are 2, 2. 2, 2, you look right below, that is indeed in the relation. So, so far it's looking like um, it's, it's transitive, but like I said we have to go all the way through because once again, keep in mind this keyword whenever. <clears throat> so now we're on to two two as an AC as a, excuse me as an AB. So two 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 one. The other ones are two one. Two one belongs to the relation. Okay. Now two 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 two. The other ones are two two. 2, 2 does not does indeed belong in the relation. Good. So, 3, 4, 4, 1, 3, 1. 3, 1 does not belong in the relation. So, what this means is that, as the definition above that we were talking about implies, that if we have an AB and a BC, there has to be the corresponding AC. So a 3, 1 does not belong in the relation. Therefore, we can declare that this is not transitive. <clears throat> okay, so this is a really good example of you don't have to do all of the work. Um, 
because once you get to this point, you can stop and say, okay, well, this is a counterexample um, in which the definition of the uh, of transitive relations as applies to this particular relation does not apply. So um, this is a point where you, you don't have to do all the work um, because you can just stop there and say, okay, I have this point of excuse me, this point of data that says that it can't be transitive.